Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain how to fall properly with the different characters in Genshin Impact. These are definitely not bugs, this is 100% legitimate advice that will absolutely, completely work, all the time. So, without further ado, let's start with our first character. Now, let's say you're playing Rosaria, but your skill accidentally teleports you off the edge of a cliff. What you want to do is just get up, dust yourself off, pretend that everything's fine, ride up until the very last second. You have to have that calm and collected attitude that she has, you can't let things like this get to you. So for Amber, it's pretty much as you'd expect. Nobody really likes her, so you want to take her to the top of a mountain, shoot a bunch of barrels at point blank range, and fortunately she will have the decency of disappearing during the fall, so that you don't have to see her worthless carcass for a second longer than you have to. Now, Klee on the other hand, is such a precious little angel of destruction that no harm will ever come to her. As you can see here, she is completely immune to fall damage, and this definitely works every time. Next up, we have Ayaka. As the public image of perfection in Inazuma, Ayaka is so dignified and graceful that things like falling are frankly beneath her. Instead of falling, she just doesn't. Kaching is a similarly special case. For instance, here you might think that she's floating, but the reality is she just falls really, really slowly. It's imperceptible to the human eye. If we wait long enough, you'll see what I mean. Let's, let's speed up time a little. There we go. Okay, we're now several hours later, and ah, here we go. She's falling a bit more noticeably now. If we just give her a minute. Just a minute. Ah, there we go. Let's move on to Xiao. He has a special ability which makes it so that plunge attacks will never damage him, no matter how high he falls from. So what you want to do is perform the highest, most epic plunge attack possible, just like this. Another animo boy with a special skill is Kazuha. His enhanced plunge is one of the most stylish attacks in the game, but unfortunately that means it's very prone to issues. He can jump a little higher than he's supposed to, he can get stuck for a short time, he can get stuck for a long time, he can get stuck forever, and he can straight up die for no apparent reason. Seriously, if anyone has any idea how he received this much damage, let me know. And finally we have Bennett. You really don't have to do anything special in his case. This guy's the unluckiest being in the world. The fall will come to him and he will absolutely die from it. And as an honorable mention, because somehow this turned into a fucking tier list, we have Azdaha, who is so ridiculously powerful that the energy released from his defeat will actually cause him to fall upwards. What? And that's it for how to fall in Genshin Impact. Thanks for listening, I hope this advice will be very useful to you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!